Scratch is one of the most popular game engines available, with over a hundred million users. So it's no surprise that trying out Scratch was one of my most requested comments after my video of trying out Godot for the first time. Although this video wouldn't quite be the same, since I was using Scratch myself at around 12 years old, and more recently at 22 when I went on to teach Scratch and Unity to kids in an after-school program. And that's how variables are storing information. More like that's how Shawcat gave a boring demonstration. Oh! <laughs> nice one, bro. Truthfully, I wasn't planning on doing this project at all until very recently, because I have a couple of big videos that I'm working on, but I'm visiting my mom out of state soon, and I didn't want to leave y'all hanging without a video before I go. So I thought it'd be a fun short project to see if I could make my game nightly routine in the world's most online game engine, Scratch. My game is in 3D, but Scratch is a 2D only engine. Well, actually that's been proven to be untrue, but I'm not about to go down that rabbit hole, so I've decided to make my version top down. Last video, I used hand-drawn sprites, so this time I want to try my hand at vector art. I started with the environment, sketched out the character designs, and did the usual shock hat act of redrawing them over and over and over because I'm never satisfied with the result. Only after I marked it complete did I realize the night panda is shaped exactly like Kirby, but it's too late to change it now. I spent the next few hours drawing the night panda, the king, and some castle balls to protect him. I I also challenged myself to use three weapons for my game, the sword, the bow, and the boomerangs. Now to move it all to scratch. First things first were player controls, which, uh, yeah. Uh, went well. But it was no game yet, so next I spawned in a night panda every couple of seconds and had them constantly chasing the king's position, and if they take him off screen, you lose the game. Clearly, I was furious at myself for letting this happen, so I surrounded the king in ironclad walls and gave the night panda an ancient blade which had been cursed to never be wielded outside its creator's bloodline, or it shall find its way into the heart of the least deserving. I'm just kidding, the walls are made of stone. Swinging the sword was the first actual challenge because I created an easing system to start the swing with a lot of force and then have the speed damp out as the sword is pulled back up to simulate preparing for the next swing. And the result looked great after adding in some hit feedback. But it was at that moment I realized my night pandas were spawning two at a time instead of just once and I spent a literal entire hour scouring through my code, tearing my hair out because I could not figure out why this was happening until I discovered it's a relatively common bug and all I had to do was refresh the page. Now the night pandas come at a steady, structured pace, only to act like a bunch of grown adults at the rotisserie chicken section at Costco. So I made it when they touched the wall, they apply damage before eventually breaking it down. Before moving on, I wanted to add the next two weapons, so I started with the bow, which proved to be much easier than the sword since all I had to do was spin it around the player and spawn a moving projectile arrow. The boomerangs did not greet me with such grace. My problem is I wanted it to spin in circles around its own axis while moving, but since Scratch has sprites move based off the direction they're facing, I was left with this really cool circular motion that sadly revealed to be quite useless and unfun to use. So instead, I made multiple sprites at different rotations to give it an actual spinning animation without actually spinning the sprite, and basing off my easing code for the sword had you throw out the boomerangs, which returns to you with almost an elastic effect. Now you could fight the night pandas forever, but I wanted to add a little more interactivity between the knights, so I sketched up some UI and then I resketched it again and again and again and again because I always have trouble with UI and I asked Tyler to help me, but he said he's too busy with his college homework, so I eventually came up with something that looked halfway decent, and for a while I was playing around with the concept of manually deciding what to spend your souls on, as you do in the real game, but I got a plane to catch and a mom to see, so I scrapped it all and instead had a pop-up where each night you choose one thing to upgrade before the fight. The integrity of the walls, your weapon damage, how far you knock the enemies back, or how fast you walk. Which all in all kind of follows more of a bullet hell formula than I was planning on, so it's kind of cool to see how such a little change rebranded the entire feel of the game. Also, I didn't end up up putting a cap on how high these upgrades can actually go, so the mechanics can get pretty hectic if you let it. I wanted to add more things from the base game, like customizing the castle, adding in merchants, having a proper day-night cycle, but in the end, I had to be realistic about my time. All in all, the game is a bit of fun to play, so go ahead and try it, or better yet, remix it into your own project, because I want to see what y'all come up with. It was a fun project to work on that took just a couple days, and once again, Scratch proves itself to be an easy-to-learn and easy-to-use game engine. And don't forget to wishlist the real nightly routine on Steam. I apologize for the shorter, video format than usual, but stick around because once again I'm working on a couple of fun videos that I'm very excited to get out in the future. Oh, and by the way, to the ones who were asking for my last video, my mom loved living for plants. Thanks again for all the support. I feel like I've been repeating myself a lot about that, but it's true. The support has been crazy lately, and I'm really, really grateful for all of you. Oh my god, is that the time my plane leaves in 10 minutes?